Hi, Jenny. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. And uh, friends, here is Jenny Johnston. And uh, I'll tell you more about her in a while. And we will also know more from her directly. So Jenny's journey, um, like after her mom passed away from a blood clot to the heart, she began reading various books related to near-death experiences, spirituality. Then here comes some of her spiritual experiences where she meets uh, clairvoyants. And uh, what uh, fascinated me was like uh, <clears throat> her work resonates with crayon channeling, which I heard a lot about uh, Lee Carroll and mm -hmm. um, past life regressions and then how quantum EFT emerged. We'll know directly from Jenny about her life directly. So friends, here is again Jenny Johnston for us. So Jenny, could you please tell about this uh, spiritual journey of yours and how you got into EFT? Yeah, um, I'd, I'd read, uh, I think the very first book that I really loved um, was Many Lives, Many Masters by Brian Weiss. Mm -hmm. And um, it told about past life regression. And I'd been um, an occupational therapist since 1980. And in my work as an OT, I'd worked with people doing um, relaxation therapy and um, almost hypnosis. And I was very good at it. And so when my, uh, the universe gave me a back injury <laughs> and I had time out from being an OT, um, I'd trained as a Reiki master um, and I was, I was led to this Reiki master through um, uh, a clairvoyant when my mother died. And so it, it was the same lady who was running Reiki and, and then she came to visit me when I had my back injury. And um, she said, you know, what have you been doing just resting on your back all this time? And I said, I've been reading again. And I read Many Lives, Many Masters again. And I said, I really want to train one day as a past life regression hypnotherapist. And then, of course, synchronicity. She said, oh, my sister's just trained in Melbourne, which is where I am as a clinical hypnotherapist. And they did past life regression as well. So next thing you know, within weeks, I was um, enrolled. Um, in a, a clinical hypnotherapy course, which had um, a section on past life regression. Ah, okay. um, and then I found myself going out with a man who, who one of his best friends was um, a trainer in past life regression. So next thing I'm doing um, advanced hypnotherapy skills in, in um, past life regression. Um, but it was while I was doing the hypnotherapy course that I was introduced to EFT. And EFT is emotional freedom techniques where um, you're tapping on specific meridian points on the body um, and engaging uh, what Cryon calls the wisdom of innate or what kinesiologists would call when they're mus muscle testing, like the, the body's consciousness or the body's wisdom. So um, what I found was when I was working with um, EFT, the brain waves go into the subconscious range. So I was, I was almost calling it waking hypnosis because consciously you were present, but you were also working at a subconscious level with the, with the mind, but also with the body's consciousness because we were working on where is the body feeling this. Um, and when you get consciousness out of the way and you're in the subconscious brain waves, body consciousness is able to speak more as well. So um, when I met with Lee Carroll in Melbourne, and um, I've got a, a whole chapter on the synchronicities in my first book of, of how all this happened. Um, but a lady called Chris Hooper um, brings Cryon out and Lee Carroll, who channels Cryon. And um, I sent her an email and said, I had these ideas about um, how Cryon channels that we can work with the wisdom of the innate of our body and also work with mining the Akash, um, which is going into past lives and, and not only healing traumas, but bringing back the gold, bringing back the positive um, experiences and gifts. And I said, Cryon tells us how to, uh, to do that, but he doesn't give the how. 
And I said, you know, I've got EFT, I've got past life regression, I've combined it all into quantum EFT and mining the Akash, and I want to run it through past Lee. Um, and so I emailed Chris and she, I said, you know, I'd love to meet with Cryon personally, personally to discuss this. And she, she emailed me back and saying, you know, you and a hundred others sort of thing. <laughs> and, um, and so I thought, oh, well, you know, I've put it out there. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And, and then she emailed me back and she said, I ran it past Lee and he'd like to meet you um, for dinner after the workshop. Wow. And so uh, I ended up having dinner with Lee and he said, you're the perfect person for this. Yes, go ahead and run the workshops and write the books and, and all the rest. And so um, his partner, Monica, also um, gave me a shove. You know how spirit tends to give you a shove when you're on, on the right track. <laughs> um, and so she emailed me once and she said, oh, there's a Hay, How Hay House Writers Workshop in Sydney. My intuition says you need to go to it. And next thing you know, here I am at the, the Writers Workshop. And um, it was the, the chapter I wrote on the synchronicity I wrote at the Hay House Workshop um, okay. one night. And, um, you know, some of the travels I've done with Cryon, uh, Lee Carroll, um, I've written, I wrote one of the chapters in that book in uh, Cryon in Kauai. Um, when I was in Cryon in South America, I was starting to put the idea of the book together in my head and, and I surveyed everyone on the buses, the two buses, what would you like to hear about in the book? And, you know, so I, it, it was a, a collective and creative process and, um, all the way I, I seemed to get pushed and I had no idea how to write a book or what, what to do. Um, but when I first started using EFT, I was using it with veterans with PTSD. And um, so I connected with Dawson Church, who's um, in the States, and he did a lot of work with, a lot of research with um, veterans and PTSD. So Dawson and I connected and then he, um, created EFT universe training and he, he invited trainers, invited people that he wanted to be trainers. And uh, I was the only one from the Southern hemisphere invited. And that was again, another synchronicity that linked me into, well, now I'm a trainer of EFT. Um, I've put these ideas together for quantum EFT. And so I then just stepped into being a trainer for quantum EFT. And so now I'm certifying people. Um, in quantum EFT as well as EFT. But when I was visiting Dawson, um, uh, I said, you know, I'm supposed to be writing a book. I have no idea how to. And he said, you need a book coach. And I go, who's a book coach? I, I don't know. I've never heard of book coaches. And then I asked another um, EFT universe trainer while I was in the States. And she said, oh, I know a perfect book coach. And within a week, I was connected with her. She used to live in, in Australia. She used to live like five minutes from where I live. Oh, wow. She the same football team as me and I go it's like it was meant to be and within 12 weeks I had a book wow. <laughs> a best-selling book and it, it like just happened 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 um and then within writing the book within six months I was um teaching I taught three months worth of um workshops around North, North America and then the following year I did it again in North America and then in 2017, this book came out, which is the actual transcripts of um, a lot of the sessions in North America, okay. um, private and, and workshop um, sessions and private sessions. And it gets a little deeper in this book because um, we look at not only mining the Akash that Cryon talks about, but also um, mining your planetary Akash, so before you came to this planet. And uh, so it gets a little bit more woo-woo, a little bit weirder um, in the second book. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So <clears throat> thank you for giving uh, details about how uh, this quantum EFT evolved, Jenny. And how yeah. is quantum EFT different from EFT? Um, from EFT? Mm -hmm. So... Um, Quantum EFT is, is really based on what's going on at a soul level for you. 
So in EFT, we always train people to go back to its origin. Like where did, where was this created? What's the underlying core belief here? Um, you know, we go back to childhood or, or even into the womb or sometimes people will go back generationally. Well, quantum EFT is like that, is that we will go back in time and we can have our present self tapping on our past self or even in the womb, tapping on our mother while we were in the womb, creating change. But it's about using EFT in time and space, but not limiting it just to this lifetime because as a soul, we've had many, many experiences. And Lee Carroll talks about that, that... Um, you know, the, the 3% of our DNA that is our genomes, um, the, the other 97% scientists used to call junk DNA. And Cryon says this is actually the quantum layers of DNA that hold all of our lifetimes. And these lifetimes um, and what happened to us are actually still present in our DNA and are instructional to our three-dimensional DNA. So that we're we're being run um, at a different consciousness level by uh, what's occurred to us in our Akash. So if we've had big traumas um, in our past lives, then um, our body is still saying, you know, beware, warning, don't, don't go to that country. Last time you were there, you were killed or don't do this. Don't, um, stand in your truth because last time you were burnt at the stake for that or um, don't put yourself out there and be seen because that's dangerous so there's um, a whole lot of ways that your past life can affect you um, even physically I've had people where um, they had died in a past life from um, massive head injuries from a car accident and in this lifetime they still have massive migraines and we've cleared that so, um, you know, I remember particularly in a workshop in um, um, Amherst, New Hampshire, and there was a mother and daughter that did the workshop together. And they came for different reasons. But um, when we went back to a lifetime that was affecting them, um, and they just naturally go there in quantum EFT because you're following it back to its origin, um, and we were also asking our guides and our higher self to take us there. Um, and in the quantum EFT session, she was in another lifetime where she was like a, a healer, a midwife, and the mother and baby died. Um, and we went through all of the overwhelm and the, you know, the pressure and everything um, that she was still feeling as a healer, as an EFT practitioner in this lifetime. And we cleared that. And then it, when it was time for her daughter to step up and, and have a session, um, she said, I was the mother or the baby in that lifetime. And so when we worked through it all, um, the main thing that, that was coming out was uh, fear of leaving family behind because she died. I think she was the mother and died in childbirth and she left her children behind. And it was this fear of leaving family behind family behind and in this lifetime she had Lyme disease really badly she hadn't been able to go off to college she hadn't been able to leave home so we thanked the body for holding on to Lyme disease to keep her safe at home with family but we no longer needed that and we released the fear of leaving family behind from that other lifetime and within that hour session wasn't even an hour Lyme disease disappeared from her body she wow. no longer had Amazing. and she'd been debilitated for from it for five years so you know i've seen amazing things happen at a dna level um following the teachings of cryon but using it through through quantum eft and then also um past life regressions as well so um i do in the workshops we we not only do quantum eft but we do actual past life regressions in a small group um, okay. and then I do private private past life regressions as well and we do that with the two different intentions one intention to heal traumas um, past dramas unfinished business um, promises curses at a soul level um, soul level beliefs that sort of thing that were created we release them and we um, dissolve them and we even change them in that lifetime 
which is it's really interesting because when you have a trauma in another life and then you go up into the higher learning you connect above it in the white light with the masters and you get the higher learning and lesson at a soul level and it's very profound for them but then what we do is we take that learning and lesson and we take it back down okay. and we the whole lifetime changes because they've got the higher learning and lesson and they're applying it um, and it just changes their whole life. It's quite amazing. And then it changes their present, current life as well. Wow. Yeah. Such a deeper work, uh, Jenny. It's very deep work. And then once we've released traumas, we go um, back into other lifetimes, this time with the intention of mining the Akash. And mining as if in going in and mining the gold, bringing back oh, the okay. gold. Okay. And so that's when we go in and we find... You know, when were the lifetimes filled with joy and love and abundance and um, teaching and you know, whatever it is you want to go back and find that will enhance and um, allow this lifetime to enjoy um, uh, more abundance, more joy, more love in this life for the highest learning of yourself and humanity. And we just let our guides take us to wherever we need to go. And off we go on another journey and bring back beautiful, beautiful experiences and memories. Wow, that's amazing. As well as higher learning. Yeah. True. Yeah. And uh, Janet, could you please tell about each book that you have written and what is it all about? Yeah, so the Tapping Into Past Lives is mostly stories of... Um, people's experiences in the workshops um, when I first started running them in 2012 in Australia. Um, and so it's mostly people who have written, um, like this one I've just opened, when I shine, I get my head knocked off. So she was too scared to shine and be out there in, in the limelight um, because in a past life, her head was knocked off basically for like physically knocked off. Um, in, in the Middle Ages. So she's written all about the, um, the memory that she had. And it's interesting because she's, since then she's run, um, she's an actor and she's done like a one woman show. She's done and um, produced, produced and acted in um, lots of shows um, since that. There's, um, oh, so many. One lady who, um, was afraid to get pregnant because in a past life um, she'd only had a son and it was a war time and the son was called to war and he died. And so she sort of created a sole promise never to have a son again because the son could be taken away from you. And so in this life, um, when she got married, you know, people were saying, when are you going to have children? And she's going, oh, I can't, I can't, because what if I have a boy? And it was consciously, there was no reason for it. But there was this fear, what if I have a boy? I can't have a boy. Okay. Um, so when we cleared that, that from that lifetime, she realised why, where this fear came from. Um, and we cleared it. And then um, not long after, she was pregnant with a boy. And she's got a little boy who's five now. Awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's so many stories like that. And, and so it's mostly people writing about their own story of their experience in a private session with me. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the second book, as I said, this is mainly the North American workshops as well as the private sessions I did with people on cryon tours and um, things like that. Um, and it's the actual, because people would say, yeah, the stories are nice, but how, what did you say? Oh, and so yeah. the actual transcript. So it looks a lot thicker, but it's quite easy to read. It's what I said, what they said. Um, and it also gives you the quantum EFT protocol. And oh, in both, both books, you get links to actual um, sessions that people did. So the video of it that you can watch if they gave permission. Um, and in here, there's also um, links to the private sessions, um, particularly one in this book is, um, um, it's called Chandra. And um, it's where she's a, a high priestess in um, Arcturus. 
and very emotional. It's a, it's a very um, it, emotional is the only word I can say. Um, always brings me to tears when I watch that video. But there's also another one of um, Claire when she went on to a spaceship. Um, and both her and her sister have memories of that, uh, of going on to spaceships as children. Um, but also we, when I went in, took her into past life or into regression, she, she went there, she went to the council, the, the Federation council ship, starship or something. And, um, she was up in a very high place, um, high vibration. And then all of a sudden a voice says to me, Jenny, you need to bring her back now. And I've gone, Oh, okay. <laughs> It's like she's gone too far out there and I don't know what voice it was, but it was like very instructional. Bring her back now. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's, um, it's a real privilege sharing these journeys with people because it is so profound and so deep. Um, yeah, but the, there is a quantum EFT protocol. So I certify people in um, quantum EFT. Mm -hmm. Um but in the workshops that I do online, as well as in person, we include past life regression um, in a small group and in private sessions, which I do online on Zoom. Um, we do the private one-on-one -on -one past life regressions, which are much more intense. Nice. And yeah. um, uh, Jenny, you have been mentioning Akash a couple of times. So could you please explain more about yeah. what is so, it? Yeah, the Akash is basically just all of your lifetimes. And um, cryon has got a really great channeling that we listen to in, one, in the workshop. Um, if you go to cryon.com and then free audio, and then you could click on 2010, there is... Um, a channeling called the Akashic System. And it's really worth listening to. It's about 35 minutes. And he talks about the Akash and your own personal Akash and where is it stored. And so our Akash is stored in our DNA. So that's all of our past lives, our souls, our one soul, and all the lifetimes that we've lived is recorded magnetically in our DNA. Um, it's also stored in the cave of creation, which is a three-dimensional and multi-dimensional place deep within Gaia. And it's that place that we go to in our past life regression. Um, and we connect with our crystal that is the storage device that Gaia uh, uh, records all of our, our lifetimes. So our, our lifetimes are stored personally within us and as well with within Gaia in the crystalline cave. And they're also stored on the crystalline grid of earth mm -hmm. and also in the whales and the dolphins in the water. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to listen to that, but that's, that's um, basically I follow the, the teachings of Kryon and um, this book also, The Human Akash, that's written mm -hmm. by Monica and Lee. Okay. It gives you a really good example um, of, you know, lots of different uh, Akashic inheritance, um, lots of different channelings that Kryon did as well. Mm. Awesome. And a lot of people have read that book and then found me through this book because okay. it mentions the process of quantum EFT as well. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Amazing. It was uh, like, how the uh, traditional or classical EFT has taken altogether a different level with mm. uh, past life regression and all that. And uh, yeah. it was very fascinating to uh, know about those transformational stories, how it is helping to clear some disease, which medically yeah. might not be understood sometimes. Yes, and, exactly. And you know, like this, this girl, who was 20, who had Lyme disease, she ha she tried everything. She tried so many things um, and alternative ways and methods over the five years. But um, one of the things that we teach in EFT is that um, there might be secondary gain. The body is holding on to it for a reason. And the body was holding on to it to protect her. And it came from another lifetime. 
Unreal. saying don't don't let go of family ever again like you know you have to stay here with family and so it was really good to be able to release that and it's it even surprises me sometimes the connections with past lives and and how it clears when when we also use cryon's teachings about um, we're the master of our being so quantum EFT is very instructional. It's like as a being of light with full free choice, this is my choice and my instruction to my DNA to process and release this, whatever it is from that lifetime um, and all the way back to its origin and from all my lifetimes, including this one, right? Because it no longer serves me and it's my instruction to release it and let it go. And it's just like powerfully, it just goes, especially when you're working with the soul and involving your higher self and your guides. And like, here I am a, a being of light and I am the master of my being. And I realize this is where it's come from and that it's been there protecting me, but I no longer require it. It doesn't serve me. And I choose to release it and let it go. I instruct my body to release it and let it go. Okay. It's very powerful. Wow. Mm. Such an, uh, like, you know, very, very deeper level in the sense uh, in classical EFT, we might work like last year, what happened or maximum yes. childhood. At times, womb and beyond, there are certain people who combine EFT and a past life regression, but this seems to be a perfect blend of it and exclusively, yeah. exclusively does this work. Mm. And also quantum EFT, you don't need to be a past life regression hypnotherapist because yeah. um, I'm not teaching the, the mining, the Akash and the past life regression part as a quantum EFT certified practitioner. I am teaching you quantum EFT. Um, but with quantum EFT, often when people are tapping and we say releasing this all the way back to its origin, all the way back to all of my past lives where this began, they often will get a flash of a scene of a past okay. life and then as we tap onto that flash of that scene and the emotion that they feel it unfolds a bit more but often all we need is the flash of it it's like they go oh i just got this scene of you know whatever it was where do you feel the emotion in that uh, it's fear um and panic and i feel it wherever okay and then we tap on that and we release it all the way back to that first lifetime when i felt it and, it, and because we're doing it on a multi-dimensional level, we're not doing suds. We're not three-dimensional using numbers. It's very multi-dimensional space that we're working in. So it's just like, okay, there's the flash of it. See you later. We don't need it anymore. We don't need to go into all the specific aspects of it like in normal EFT. It's a completely different feel. And people get the sense of it when they watch um i have a free youtube channel called eft australia it's one word and there is a whole playlist on quantum eft and you can watch lots of the videos that are from the books from um, workshops where people give permission for it to be seen you know there's things like um i think it's in this book um a lady who um it's called they sewed my mouth shut so she spoke her truth and authority didn't like it they sewed her mouth shut then they burned her at the stake but they didn't kill her that she was still alive burnt and then they buried her so all this trauma in one session that we cleared um and before that she was she was even panicking having it filmed having it videoed being seen um, since then, she's she's had, got her own TV show. She's written books. She's really put herself out there because we release that fear of speaking her truth and of being seen, saying that. Yeah. It, it is like, you know, logically, it might not make sense. Everything mm. we want to, I want to see. But once we experience it, go into past lives then clear it off then results are amazing yeah. Such a beautiful and, it, and it's also looking at the beliefs that you created back then because they're they're like soul level beliefs that are holding you back and so there's so many people that i love to work with that are healers that are um 
you know, health practitioners that have really great skills, but they don't really put themselves out there. They hold themselves back and they keep themselves very small. They're in the spiritual closet, so to speak. Um, and they're the ones I love to help get out because often they've been killed in a past life for being a herbalist and they've been um, told, you, you know, burnt at the stake because they were called a witch or they, you know, whatever it was where they spoke out against authority and they were killed for it or tortured or, or whatever it was. So um, I love to work with people who have a gift and are healers or health practitioners that are holding themselves back so that they can get out there and help more people. Such a great vision you have, Jenny. Yeah, it's great because I get to see then the work that they go out and do, you know, afterwards when when they're unleashed, sort of. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So, so um, what are the different types of uh, levels of quantum EFT training? Um, so quantum EFT, uh, um, when you go to my website, quantumft.com.au, if you hover over quantum EFT workshops, also the certification program comes up. And mm -hmm. um, basically you do the quantum EFT workshop twice. Mm -hmm. And then um, you do the transform your life program with me, which includes the past life regressions. And, um, you know, we clear some stuff up for you and bring back the gold. Um, and then we also do um, mentoring. There's mm -hmm. a certain amount of um, videos that I want you to watch and comment on and learn from. And then uh, the mentoring is um, looking at sessions that you do with others. Um, and then I ask you to record yourself doing a session because it's very much an energetic process and I want to see how you connect and, and use your own intuition. Um, and then you're, you're a certified EFT practitioner. So there's no level other than certified, basically. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, could you please tell about your clairvoyance experiences? Um, I've, ha I've had a few. The, the, the most um, was, I guess, when my mother died and came to visit me um, in the middle of the night. And, um, okay. and it was like it was, she awoke my third eye. Um, she just touched my forehead. Um, but she was just a being of light with lots of other beings of light. And I described it as like when your eyes are closed and there's a flash of lightning, you can still sort of see that flash of lightning because it's so bright. Well, my eyes were closed. I was asleep, but I, I knew of these presences and I knew my mother was there. Um, yeah. And she just touched my third eye. And um, a lot of people, when they watch my videos, they say that, I always know what to say. Well, I'm very much in tune with my guides and their guides and, and it's very intuitive what I do. And I, you can't teach in intuition, but you can teach people to connect um, and open up to that intuition. And that's part of what we do in the Quantum EFT workshop is connecting with guides, connecting with other people's guides, um, and using your intuition, like when a thought just pops into your mind, like a little download, it's just popped in there. You haven't had a logical sequence of events that have led you there to notice those and to um, run them by your client and say, well, I just saw this. Does that relate to you? And then they go, oh, my God, yes. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a process of learning and practicing of being in that space. Um, so part of certifying is, is reading both my books, reading the Human Akash, um, reading the um, uh, ethics books as well and making sure that people know how to work ethically with others um, and that they do have a basis of um, EFT as well. Wow. Yeah. So thanks a lot, Jenny. It was like uh, all the wow factors, knowing the success stories, knowing about... Uh, Quantum EFT and these lovely books and your your vision I, I loved it especially to help the helpers <laughs> like yeah. there is like who heal the who heals the healers so <laughs> yeah exactly or allows the healers to shine because often you know you're you have a propensity to want to be a healer because 
you've been a healer in other lifetimes. And so there's often a push and pull because you want to be a healer, but then something in you says, hang on a minute, you died when you did that last time, don't, you know? And so there's this push and pull. You've got the skills, but you just don't want to put yourself out there. So I want to be able to unleash people so that they have, have the freedom to be able to use those skills and those gifts. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you once again for this lovely opportunity to interview you, Jenny. It was very, very inspiring and I wish this quantum EFT spreads across all over the world. Thank you. So do I. You know, when I'm dead and gone long, long, long time ago uh, uh, in the future, I mean, I hope there's lots of EFT certified practitioners out there helping the world. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.